Hi everyone, Gary Shiohama here. Well, can you believe it? It's May 7th, Thursday, and we are going into our third month of the coronavirus lockdown. But today, rather than share a devotion with you, I decided to share some insights with you on how our pastoral team has been endeavoring to lead our church through this crisis. And recently, we've been asked by a number of you uh, when we thought we would be able to gather together as a church again. And believe me, that's something we want more than anything. And we've been discussing it. We've been trying to figure that out. Now, here's how we're tackling that issue and similar issues uh, like it. Now, from the obvious um, point of view, the first thing that we're doing, of course, is to pray. And we're asking God uh, for his guidance and wisdom. We're looking to God's word uh, to see what it might have to say. Those are things we must all do first and foremost. But Beyond that, we are being guided by four values or four principles, and I want to share those with you today. The first one is that we need to be informed. We need to be informed. Uh, when Moses was wandering through the, through the desert with the Israelites uh, way back when, uh, and they came upon the promised land, the very first thing that Moses did was, rather than charge right in, he sent in a reconnaissance team. He sent in 12 spies to check out the land. And he wanted to know before he charged in uh, what the land was like, whether it was good or bad, according to Numbers 13, whether the people were few or many, whether they were weak or strong. You see, without this information, he knew they would be operating completely in the dark. And so he wanted to gather information. And that's something that we are endeavoring to do first and foremost, is to get as much information as we can about the current situation and the current crisis and information as we go forward. Second value that we are being guided by is shepherding. We are about shepherding the church. 1 Peter 5.2 says, care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. We take that job seriously, to care for the flock. We think that it's our first responsibility to care for you spiritually. And we're doing that not only for the adults, but for young people and even for our kids' school ministries. We care about you spiritually, and we're working hard to constantly provide spiritual content for you online. Second, we care about your physical well-being. We don't want anyone to get sick. And even before the pandemic, it, was, it has always been our top priority to make sure that you are cared for, that you are safe when you come to church. And so when we think about when it is that we'll be able to gather together as a church, uh, our first consideration is whether or not it will be safe for you and your family to do so. When you come to church, will you be safe sitting together? Will it be safe for us to have food at the hospitality table? Will it be safe for us to hug one another and high five one another? Will it be safe for your children? Will you even want them to come? Because children will not understand social distancing, nor will they practice it. And so those are just some things we're thinking about. All this to say, we take on the responsibility of shepherding very, very seriously to care for you and your loved ones. Third value that we think is important to consider in making decisions is wise counsel. Be receptive to wise counsel. Proverbs 11.4 says, With wise counsel plans, without counsel plans fail, but with many advisors they succeed. You know, this is a verse that has been guiding me throughout my entire life, and that is the, the value and the importance of seeking counsel. Because, hey, what do I know? Right? But, if we can get the counsel of wise men and wise women, we're less likely to make bad decisions and more likely to make good ones. And so here at South Bay Community Church, we are so blessed to have a great team of pastors and elders. And I want you to know that every decision that we have made uh, through this crisis has been made with an abundance of counselors. No one person calls the shots, and that's how it's going to be even as we go into the future. Fourth and finally, the fourth value that, that has guided us and that will guide us through this is wisdom. You know, many years ago, Pastor Andy Stanley wrote a neat little book called The Best Question Ever. What do you think that was? 
The best question ever wasn't or isn't, who shall I marry? Or what would Jesus do? He said the best question ever is, what is the wise thing to do? What is the wise thing to do? And the reason why that's such an important question is because there's always so much information to have to sift through. There's a mountain of, a mountain of information and a mountain of issues that we have to figure out. Um, we have to figure out who to believe and what to believe. We have to figure out what's true and what's not true. And we need to know how to strike a balance between that which is faith and that which is practical. Let me give you an example. You might have heard that there are some pastors who have defied the lockdown completely. And others, more recently, have, a, have vowed that they're going to reopen their church here very, very soon, whether the government likes it or not. Now, they'll cite Acts 5.27, uh, which says we must obey God rather than men. Now, that sounds very, very spiritual, but here's the context for that. When that was written, and in the context it was written, uh, Peter and his disciples were being persecuted by uh, the Jewish high priest and the Jewish council, which was basically Israel's senate. And they gave them an edict, an order, and they told them that they could no longer uh, speak the name of Jesus. And that's when Peter responded because he said, there's no way the government is going to tell us what to do. And so Peter, on behalf of the disciples, responded by saying, no, we are going to obey God rather than men. Now, in our situation today, the government is, telling us, is not telling us that we can't speak the name of Jesus. In fact, we're doing that. We're doing that maybe more than we ever have. And we think that people are coming to know Christ and people are getting reconnected with God. And so we're excited about that. So what we're going through today is not persecution by any means, at least not yet. That, it might get to that, but not yet. And so we need to think about these things. We need to sort through these things. You know, Proverbs 24, 14 says that, um, that knowledge or wisdom is, is sweet to the soul. It is sweet to the soul. And so the question that we're going to be asking as we move forward is, what is the wise thing to do? We are going to be asking that question quite a bit as we move forward. And so those are just a few things that we think are important to consider as we want, as we consider, as we you know, wonder whether or not we're able to move forward and, and open up the church. And so uh, as we endeavor to, to open up the church, again, we're going to be thinking about whether or not it will be safe for you and your family and your friends, and uh, whether it will be a blessing to all who come. So those are a few thoughts, and, and I just want to say that probably very, very soon within the next uh, couple of weeks, we're going to be sending out a questionnaire because I want to get your thoughts on this uh, important subject. So we're going to be sending out that questionnaire and asking you some questions, and we'd love to hear from you. And um, we'll be emailing that to you. And if you have not received any of our e-news uh, emails, then go to our website and click the contact button and be sure to fill out the information, your contact information, and just let them know, please be sure to send me the e-news and we'll be sure to get that questionnaire to you so that we can hear from you as well. We think that with many counselors, there is success. All right. So uh, let me close uh, our time in prayer and I want to pray for you. Well, Father, thank you so much for how you have blessed our church and Father, I am just so uh, especially grateful for our leaders, for our elders and our pastors, and really for all those who, uh, who speak into our lives so that we can make the best uh, possible decisions for our church. And God, we uh, come as we are getting ready, as the government is getting ready to, uh, to lift up some of these sanctions, we pray, Father, that you would give our church uh, leadership wisdom, and I pray that you will guide us and you will show us exactly how and uh, when we are to lift up these sanctions and gather together as a church. God, I pray for your continued protection over us and for all those out there who are uh, hurting, who are struggling. I pray, Father, that you would wrap your loving and powerful arms around them and that you would provide for their needs. And, and if they're needing in need of healing, I pray that you would heal them. I pray that you would keep our church healthy and safe. So thank you, Father, so much, and I pray that you would uh, bless us this week. 
And I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.